Hello, I'm back. I'm Donna Balzer and I am here for Facebook Live today, but it's going to be a very short one and it's probably going to be the last one of the year unless we think of something really compelling that we have to talk about. But this is the Gardener's Gratitude Journal, which I've been writing in. And here's what I've been writing. I am starting basil seeds for Christmas salads. So if you were thinking, hmm, wouldn't it be nice to have fresh basil for Christmas? You're a gardener, you can do it. So join me today if you want to say hi, that's fine. As I said, it's going to be a very short live today because I just want to get right to the point and talk to you today about starting some Christmas herbs. So I have right here, I'll give you the sneak preview. This is what they look like. I started these last week right after we hung up on the show and I've got basil plants growing right now. So here's how I do it. I start with a container. This is like a half of a flat. And I bought a whole box of these because I thought, I, I really like this. So this is basically how to start uh, basil microgreens. Let's see, I have a cupboard open over there. Oh, wow. This is basically how to start cupboard micro, or uh, how to start microgreens with basil. So I've got a container. You have to get some soil. And this is the soil that I like. This is actually called ProMix, but if you take a closer look, it's moistened a little bit. It's not completely dry. It's just really, really nice. There we go. So you fill your container with soil. Preferably, you fill two containers with soil so that once you've leveled it off, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me just uh, back up a bit. So you get one container of moist soil you smooth it out so that it's all even and flat. And then you look through your big supply of seeds. And if you're like me, you always order more seeds than you actually need for a gardening season. And all of a sudden it's November, December, and you're like, ah, what am I going to do with all those seeds? Well, I had a whole package, well, actually two whole packages of Dolly left. This is a west coast seed it's not the only kind of basil you can grow but i put a whole package in one half flat now i did that to start these i'm not going to do it now i'm going to show you the next step once you open your seed packet and you sprinkle them evenly over the soil surface then you top it up with more soil and then you get yourself a jump start can you see this this is just a flat but here's the seedling mat. This is a seedling mat which will keep the temperature of your seeds, especially if you're growing basil, they like it really warm. So the jump start seedling mat is just plugged into the wall or plugged into your timer so that it comes on and off. Then you get a tray that has no holes in the bottom. See how this tray has no holes because it's going to hold the moisture and it's going to hold the seedling flat. And luckily these flat, these heating mats are designed exactly to fit inside one of these. So you put it on, then if you want to, you can put a cover over it or just have a misting bottle on standby. Take that misting bottle and simply mist your soil. But I do start by watering it well first. And then in two days, my basil came up in two days. Isn't that incredible? So I'm really excited about growing basil for my special Christmas salads. And I wanted to share that with you today. What I did was once the seeds came up, which was in two days, I took the plastic cover over. So I had a large plastic cover over it, which I've now moved on to my Christmas cactus. Because if you saw my show last week, you'll know I had a beautiful big Christmas cactus. I dropped it on the floor on my way out of here and broke quite a few pieces off so i have those started as new plants and that gave me the idea to start some basil because this is the time of year early december that takes about a week to grow a nice little microgreen but if you want to grow microgreens that you're going to pick and use throughout the season grow yourself a whole flat you can also just decide you might decide to just take out clumps and transplant those into trays so the only other thing I was going to tell you is that once you've got your tray filled with soil, I'll just back up a bit here. Once you've got your tray filled with soil and you've seeded all of your seeds into that flat and just try to get them as smooth as you can. Like I say, I used a whole packet in one half flat. Then you fill another tray with soil and you set that on top. And if you do that and then put the whole works on top of the heat mat, 
if you do that, what will, what will happen is that you will end up with, and this has to be full of soil too, so it's heavier. It'll take three or four days if it's on a heat mat, maybe only just two, but you'll start to peek in and you'll see that the, the basil's coming up. And at that point, you can take off this top flat, let them germinate and grow them. So I see I've got Margo here, and I love that, Margo, that you came by, but I was just finishing up describing, I'll show you again, these are my basil seedlings that I started last week so that I could have them to show you here today. I'm growing these for Christmas because I want to have fresh basil in my salads. And that's, even though I'm on the wet coast, I don't have any uh, basil. It just won't grow if it's, if it's not super warm outside. So that's what we're demonstrating today, how to start basil. Anything you've got lying around, if you've got arugula or radishes or, or beets or anything like that, any leftover seed, you can put it into flats with pro mix. Just gonna put that aside and you're done. That's all you need to know. Now, Margo, since you're here, maybe you have some extra questions that you'd like to ask. If not, I think I'm gonna sign off today because I'm gonna take off early. This is gonna be a really busy month for everyone. I wanted to bring my wreath down that I, that I made this weekend and I didn't, I forgot that. So instead, I'm gonna suggest that we, um, I'm going to post it on Facebook so you'll have a look at it there. The really interesting thing that I did in my Christmas wreath this year was that I put dried garlic in it. So garlic that the garlic scapes, instead of picking them when they're green, I let them mature, pick them later, and those were used to decorate, um, which was really fun. So hello, Margo. Hello, everybody else out there. I am going to sign off super early because I just wanted to make that one point today. I'll make one more point, which is that I am um, putting all of these Facebook videos onto YouTube. So you can look for Donna Balzer, the YouTube channel, and those videos will all be there. And I hope that if you have questions, you'll ask me. Margo, I'm sure you don't because you're such a good gardener. But tell me if you are growing microgreens or any kinds of herbs for um Christmas. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.